Hello everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Line from Thomas Bowker. So the reason I'm taking a look at this game is because it is releasing on Steam today. If it's not in the store when the video goes live, it will be later in the day. Uh, I'm assuming that it will be $3 because that is what is being charged for the game on other marketplaces right now. And the game is already available on PC as well as, I think most mobile markets. Uh, I'm just going to link to the Steam page, but just let it be known that there are other places that you can get this, and you may want to get it for um, your phone or your tablet rather than Steam. Uh, once you see the game, that may be a decision that you make. So I'm going to jump in here. This is going to be a relatively short let's look at because it's, it's pretty much just a puzzle game and I don't want to show off everything, so this is basically serving as our tutorial, and it kind of teaches us just the basic rules of what's going on here. So, basically we have connections to make, and they're not all this easy, so I think that kind of gives you a good idea of what's going on there. So I'm going to jump in to set B, which is quite a bit more difficult, and show off some of these levels. So, these basically have to be passed through twice. So this starts to get outright. Oh, this starts to get a little more complicated. Uh, especially if you are dumb like me. I... what am I not? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I was missing that. I just, I just did these earlier so I have no excuse to not be understanding what to do here. Uh, and quite frankly, it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> Holy cow. I, I messed this one all up. What is going on? There we go. So, you know, as you can see, they do get actually quite a bit more challenging as well as the fact that you have to start dealing with various colors and it's not always just going to be two colors I've gotten as far as the point now where I am routinely getting three colors on a level and that obviously makes it quite a bit uh, more difficult so I think yeah so some of these can just be like deceptively tricky just because of the way right so you can't cross uh, just because of the way that some of them are laid out no that's not what I want either hmm it's so strange to me that these are causing me so many problems I swear, I, I did these earlier uh, to make sure that this kind of thing didn't happen. <laughs> so it, it's kind of hilarious to me that it's happening anyways. But it does go to show that this is a very good puzzle game. I mean, the fact that I've, I've done these levels and they're still kind of tripping me up really speaks to uh, the quality of these puzzles. But, I mean, like I said, this is kind of why there's not a ton here for me to really talk about. So, this, like I said, it's going to be relatively short. Uh, let's look at here. Oh, so close. It's not quite it. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So you can just kind of click anywhere back through the chain. So like if I were to just click down here, it would delete to there. Or you can just click to start over. Which uh, you will be doing quite a bit. So as far as like presentation stuff goes, um, first of all, I, I really like the music. It's, it's used pretty sparingly, and I, I like that a lot as well as, there we go, um, 
you know, just like the sound in general, because there's kind of just a nice little tone each time you connect. And, uh, you know, it also, it also just looks really good. That's, that's kind of the other big thing here, is that it's just a good-looking game. And, I mean, this is, you know, as far as, like, games that are, that are available on mobile and then available on Steam, this is the kind of thing that I would want to see. This, in my opinion, works really well. It's a good game. Okay, so I didn't actually want to connect there, so that's kind of what I'm talking about as far as things being kind of deceptive. here. There we go. Right, and then if I go like this, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna jump back out to the main menu now. So that's kind of how that goes. I'm not sure how many sets there are. Based on spacing, I'd say maybe six. So that's pretty good. But then, after beating the second set, I unlock this daily mode. And this gives you three sets? every day. So this literally gives you another 75 puzzles daily. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, who in the world has that much time? I'm like, that's awesome. That's so much like extra gameplay on this that I wasn't expecting. Besides, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I am like obsessed with the idea of having daily challenges in games. I think it, it works so well. And, uh, so far what I've noticed is that these are quite a bit more difficult as well. Hmm. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so I mean, the, and then we've got these that take three. So yeah, I mean, these are quite a bit tougher than, than what we've been dealing with. Which, uh, I definitely think is interesting. Oh. So, let's see here. We need to be able to cross this another time? Where can we do that? No, not like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. This is, uh, this is a pretty tough one. Oh, there we go. Cool. Sometimes you just have to, like, change which direction you're going at it from. But yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much the game. I don't have much more to say about it, so I'm not really going to drag it out. Uh, it's a good puzzle game. I like it a lot. I was, you know, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I ended up liking it, which is always kind of a good sign. I think presentation-wise, it is spot on. It's definitely pretty to look at. It's pretty to listen to. And uh, it's more difficult than I expected. I was kind of looking at the trailers for it and looking at images, and I'm like, I'm not sure I really get the gimmick here. I don't understand where the difficulty comes from. But then you start playing, and you're like, now I get it. That's not as easy as it looks when it's just a trailer running through it with the correct solutions. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up. It's only a couple bucks. Uh, get it on your desired platform. You know, if you want to sit with your mouse on your computer and play it, it's a good game to do that. And uh, if you want to have have a good puzzle game on the go, get it on your phone or tablet. I think, I think all around, just it's it's just a really good game. I think it works. Uh, I would imagine it works just as well with like your phone or tablet using touch controls as it does with the mouse and keyboard. But you know, all in all, I highly recommend this, especially if you're a puzzle game fan. You can't go wrong with a good puzzle game with tons of content for three bucks. So that'll kind of wrap this one up. As always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you would like to comment on. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day. And if you liked my video online, please consider clicking the like button, because that could help me out a lot. And I appreciate everything that you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.